What's up YouTube? You checking out the frequent flyer and y'all already know what it is. I'm out here with the King Kong 130 Fly Aid and I have the stock battery charged up. I have that on here and if you guys probably noticed that these props in the rear don't have mounting screws. Well that's because I brought this thing out here a few minutes ago and I was about to start recording and I had the props on backwards. Well I had the wrong props on on the back here and so it did a, it did a flip a couple times and I was wondering what was going on I finally figured it out and now my props in the rear are all scuffed up <laughs> these props are pretty tough though because they were bent pretty bad I thought they were chipped but I ended up only having to bend them back but I will swap the props out um, when I get the chance but right now I just pressed them on they seem to fit pretty tight and I'm pressed for time, so I just press them on. <laughs> I gotta run to work. But I really wanted to get this uh, demo flight out for you guys to see this. Good. Have some kind of idea of how this thing flies. So I'm gonna try to fly it without the mounting screws. It is pretty tight, so we should be okay. No FPV, just line of sight. So I'm anxious to see how this thing flies too. Check out its power and all of that stuff. I'm almost certain that it's gonna brown out because they put this little tiny 350 milliamp hour 35C2S on it with a JST connector. No XT30, I'm definitely gonna swap it out though to an XT30. Let's see, I gotta get a little level spot to take off from here. Let's see if we get the spin. Wow, this thing is very quiet. No spin of death. But let's try that punch out and see what happens. So it didn't brown out. Almost got attacked by Dragonfly. But I did hear the buzzer though. Wow, this thing is even more quiet than the 110 is. It doesn't seem to be as powerful as the 110 on 2S, but it is pretty nice though. Let's check out the punch out again. It could be just the battery though, but let's see it. So we did get the buzzer, so this thing isn't going to brown out, it doesn't seem. The KV of the battery, well the KV of the motor is a tad bit lower. It's 7,000 KV now instead of 70 what was it 75 100 kv before what oh, we getting some buzzer wow it seems very smooth we're getting the buzzer already so i'm guessing the brown out is coming up soon <laughs> if i do a punch out Just doing light flips is getting the buzzer to go off. So let's see if we can make it brown out. Yes, it's very weak and wobbly right now. So I'm just gonna land it. What's up, man? So very smooth flyer. But this battery, you're not going to get much time with this battery here though. You definitely need to upgrade the battery to a larger milliamp hour. And I'm definitely going to swap out the JST connector for an XT30 and see if this thing has any more power than it shows. It's not bad, but it's definitely not as good as the 110 GT. But this thing is awesome. Very quiet. And so that's it. We're going to check it out with a larger battery. I'm thinking before I change this JST connector to an XT30, I'm going to try it out with a larger 500 milliamp hour battery. That, that's uh, 30C. I think I got that with the AR Fun Pro 95. And that battery seemed to be better than the original battery that came with the AR Fun. So I'm going to try that out next. So that's the King Kong Fly Egg 130. Line of sight. Thanks for watching.